What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you an update to the Mythic Path System Overview. So this is actually a video that I made all the way back when beta first launched for this game in February. And now that we have fast forwarded to launch day, I can confirm some more details and things that I now have access to because Alcat Games, about a week and a half ago from the time of this video, gave me access to the full release build of the game with an embargo on the content, and that embargo has lifted obviously since you're watching this. So I decided to update this video to do one main thing, as well as discuss some other things. The main thing is I'm going to confirm every mythic path available in the game. I'm not going to talk about how to get them, because we're just talking about the system overview itself. I just want to talk about the steps it takes in case people are curious, or basically when to know that they've actually missed something. I will be making separate videos, about how to actually unlock all of the various mythic paths. I've already done all of the base mythic paths that were in the beta. That's pretty common knowledge. However, there are some other ones that I'm going to talk about. But again, videos on how to unlock those, which will be more spoiler filled, will come a bit later or possibly today. But the point of this video, again, broad system, how it actually works and when to expect to get to choose which mythic path type stuff. So first of all, what is the mythic path system? Well, basically, this is a separate progression system in addition to your character level that allows you to basically ascend into some higher being. Now, this will wind up giving you all sorts of powers and things depending on which path you choose. However, regardless of any of those things, this uses a milestone system, which means as you reach certain points in the game, you will be granted mythic ranks. So there's no experience or anything to grind out. It's literally just once you reach certain points in the game, you get another rank. Now, the first two ranks of the game you will be what's called a mythic hero, meaning you haven't actually picked a path yet, you've just absorbed a lot of power. The mythic hero will have their pick of six choices of where this power is coming from, basically. And this will give you a variety of abilities. They are all kind of thematically based around the six base mythic path choices, which we'll get into here in just a second. But I do want to mention, these are non-binding. So even if you pick the one that revolves around death, you do not have to pick the associated mythic path that that's actually like geared towards later. You can, for instance, pick the death one and then still choose the angel mythic path. Now, I also want to mention that when you gain your first rank, as well as every other odd level, you will get a mythic ability. These are very strong abilities. Now, the ones that are based off your uh, rank like this are available for everyone, just depending on what class and feats, that type of stuff you have. But these are just very strong abilities that usually augment something you already do, for instance, like adding more damage to it, making you do more attacks of opportunity, that type of stuff. And then every even level, you'll get a mythic feat. Mythic feats are just improvements of regular feats, usually. So, for instance, if you have the dodge feat, which grants you one extra AC as a dodge bonus, the dodge mythic feat will double that and make it two AC. And you'll basically see just a ton of that stuff. The mythic version of a feat will take the base feat just a little bit farther and usually has the base feat as a prerequisite. That said, there are feats that don't require a prerequisite or anything. There are just several that do. Now, that brings us to rank 3. Once you hit rank 3, you should have the option to choose between 6 mythic paths, provided you've encountered them. So in order to unlock mythic paths throughout the story, you have to actually encounter them as choices, or your character won't know that they are a choice. For these base 6, I have a video on each and every single one of them, if you're curious, but... They are as follows. They are Angel and Demon, which are the defaults. You'll get those regardless. There is Aeon, which you will encounter directly as a result of the main story. There is Trickster, which is found in Act 1. There is Azada, which is found in Act 1, as well as Lich, which requires the most work, which is primarily in Act 2, because your third mythic rank comes at the end of Act 2. From here, you'll get to choose, again, your actual mythic path and unlock it. And depending on which one you choose, your powers will vary greatly. Your appearance can even change a little bit. And then from here, you'll start gaining ranks as you continue to progress the story and become more like this thing that you are becoming, such as a demon or an angel, etc. Now, this is pretty much what we knew during the beta. However, we were aware that there were other late game mythic paths. So this is where I'm going to discuss those. And I'm also going to mention all of them by name, which I only point out because I'm just trying to give people warning if they, for instance, want to figure out what is what when. 
that Mythic Rank 8, at that point in the story, be given an option to either change or continue down the Mythic path you are already on. Your choices here are to continue on the same path from those first six, or move into one of the late game Mythic paths that you would have discovered past the original choice at Rank 3. These Mythic paths are the Gold Dragon, the Swarm That Walks, the Legend, and the Devil. The Devil is actually the interesting one there because that was data mined a while back, but nobody could confirm it, nobody would talk about it. And I can confirm right now, the devil is absolutely in the game. Again, videos on how to unlock this stuff to follow. Now, I wanna point out the legend specifically right here because this option is also unmissable. At rank eight, you can pick Swarm That Walks, Gold Dragon, or Devil if you found them, whereas legend is the default option here. So if you haven't found Swarm, Gold Dragon, or Devil, at rank 8, you will still be given the choice of continuing down the path you are on right now or switching to Legend. There you go, guys. There is the broad system. Now, again, I want to mention there will be videos to follow about how to unlock the three mythic paths that I do not have an answer for right now, as well as hopefully their mechanics and stuff. At the time of making this video, I had a slight bug that was preventing me from actually showing off the mechanics in their entirety. But nonetheless, I am working on that content, which may or may not be up the same day this goes live. But there you go, guys, an update to the Mythic Path system and basically what to expect when and at what point you will know that you've definitely missed something. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.